Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we're playing with the new cards, and you know what you had to do if you saw our review, but we're going red, we're going dinos. Oh, dude, dinosaurs all the way. It's going to be insane and pretty hard to beat, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but before we do, go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, so we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are going through Prehistoric Smash with our new champion, Arena, the Feral Warrior. Exhaust, if you declare an attack with a fire unit this turn, put that card, top card of your deck underneath this card. If it was a fire unit, you may deal 1,000 damage to target unit your opponent controls. It's gonna happen yeah. every time. Every time you swing for the first time or whenever you think you can easily kill off a dude for no reason. Yeah, and it's literally free to just be like, exhaust, kill a dude. Yeah, like that's it. Cool, great. That's, a, that's all it takes. But, and she has more. Put the top two cards of this card on top or bottom of the owner's deck in any order. So if you needed something, then you just immediately put it on top. Put a dinosaur unit from your hand or discard with the cost equal or less than the number of shards you control. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's you get free dudes after you kill their dudes. Yeah. Like, I don't care what else is happening. That's literally free value that she generates every time. Yeah. And sure, you're going to lose a couple of cards, but you don't really lose them because you get to put them back where you want. Exactly. Be like, oh, this card might win me the game now. I'm just going to go put these top. Oh, here's a free dude. I have free shards to do whatever I want. Yeah, and there's no way to, like, kill her as a champion, so you're not going to lose those dudes that are removed ever. Yeah, so ever. You get to just put them where you want, and it, it it does not matter losing those dudes. The value is insane, especially when it says discard. Yeah. Like, okay, if you top deck a spell, then you're out of luck. Oh, wait, I have a whole graveyard I can deal with. Yeah, yeah. It's so, pretty nuts. Insane. Uh, of course, we're using the OG Fire <clears throat> Spirit. And why? Well, to let you know, because once per turn, during your turn, discard a fire unit from your hand, deal 500 damage to target unit, which comes into play quite a bit. And during your turn, you get Soul Burst, target unit gains quickness, unit, uh, so this turn. So that's about as simple as that. Yeah. We're, we're real simple with the fire spear just to make your life easy and to shoot a thing. Oh, that's yeah. why isn't it new? First creature we got is the Primeval Egg. It is one for a 500 Guardian. This card cannot attack or deal damage, which is awkward because it's a spiky egg. Yeah. But must be soft foam. Uh, mm -hmm. Ruined, search your deck for a dinosaur unit with three or less and add it to your hand. So it just helps you get cards you need and it's a guardian. Yeah. All right, Mazonian Hatchling, it's a one drop 500. Other dinosaurs units you control get plus 500, which is a very, very cheap Lord Yeah. that will scout out all the towers for you. Yeah. Uh, next is Boostersaurus. It is two for a 1000 unit. Arrive or whenever this card into declares an attack, target fire unit you control gets plus 1000. Yeah. So it has double duty because it enters and then it attacks next turn. You're just like, cool, dudes get big. Like, go. And it Yarr. doesn't say another, so you can just target itself <clears throat> if you need to to kill yeah. the tower. So we got the Elemaster Cinder. So it's an Elemaster, two drop, 1500. This card gets plus 500 while your opponent has a destroyed fire tower. Not too bad. Whenever this card declares an attack, if you control a fire unit, target unit you control gains quickness until end of turn. This makes everything you play have quickness which is insane mm -hmm. and it's a two drop that can destroy towers at the same time <laughs> yeah that's pretty nuts that's ridiculous next is destroy a saurus he's three for a 2000 arrive if you if you may destroy a target damaged unit and if you do this card gains quickness yeah so this is why we're playing the the fire spirit because you're just like cool ditch this card deal 500 mm -hmm. play this guy you yeah, know kill your free. tower because you can just play that dinosaur later for free anyway yeah so oh the value of this deck is hurting <laughs> me it's so good Mazonian Raptor, it's 3 drop 1500. This card costs one less to pay for each dinosaur unit you have to attack this turn, so it could literally be free. Uh, while you control five or more shard units, you can opponent control costs two less, or, well, sorry, with cost two or less, lose their abilities. So that means all your bone scavengers, all your replica dudes. All your free guardians from one mana that yeah. you plays, they don't get to do anything. Yeah, or even a white tower guardian, they don't, it doesn't get to do anything. No, you're, you're just you're under two, you don't get that ability. Goodbye. And for it to be a three slash free <laughs> drop, <laughs> yeah. it's insane. Uh, next is the Teratops. It is four for a 2500 guardian. While this card, while you control six or more shards and this card is exhausted, your opponent cannot attack unless they are attacking this card and cannot target other units you control with spells oh, or abilities. Oh, yeah. This card is nuts. It is a huge guardian. Yeah. It can attack, mm -hmm. and it forces them to attack it and kill it before you can do anything else. Yeah. 
So if they don't have one unit that's over 2,500, that means they're throwing away multiple dudes <laughs> yeah. just for this little guy that you can get back later on. Yeah. This card's awesome. Yeah. And, it, and it says that they can't target other things with spells or abilities. Like, cool. Don't. Yeah. I'm just going to guard all of the dinosaurs. I'm going to take your kill spell. I'm going to do everything. Yeah. Thank you, Teratops. Herald of the... Try... Whoa, Trantus. There's an extra T in there. Trantus? Tarantus. Tarantus. Yeah. Why can I not pronounce the Y? <laughs> Anyways, it's a 5 drop 3000 dinosaur. You may destroy target damage unit. Simple as that. Whenever this card destroys an opponent's tower or unit, you may put a dinosaur with total cost 4 or less for, from your hand into play. Free value. Just that, like so, that. So yeah, you pay 5 and you get to kill the damage dude and then you put another dude into play. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. It all it all just works he's, out. He's so much value. Yeah. Uh, Mesozoan uh, Opteryx. It is five for twenty five hundred dinosaur. This card costs one less to play for each dinosaur unit you have attacked with this turn. Simple. While you control seven or more shards, units your opponents control with power less than this card's lose their abilities. So anything less than twenty five hundred can't use its ability. Yeah. Which is kind of nuts. And if and with the other little hatchling that gives your dudes plus five hundred, or you're attacking and get plus one thousand. They can't do anything then either. Yeah, exactly. They just shut Thanks. off at that moment. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, <clears throat> this is our actually revealed card from Geektopia Island. Thank you very much. <laughs> but a uh, Bronturian Herd Mother, six drop, thirty-five hundred. This card costs two less to play while you control eight or more shards. So amazing. And here's why: well, this card cannot be targeted by spells and abilities. But whenever a dinosaur unit you control is put in the discard zone, you may deal damage equal to its card's power to target unit your opponent controls. This even works with the spirit too. It's so strong. Yeah, because it just says put in a discard zone from your hand can happen. Mm, no, it would be from the play. Sure. Yeah. Is unit you control? Okay, yeah. you have to control it. So yeah. yes, but still to be able to have things die and then start killing off everything else is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's super nice just to be like, hey, cool, just throw this dude into that guy, and your tear tops just get to be like, hey, cool, take twenty five hundred. Hey, Thanks. Yeah. Take all the damage. Thank you very much. And the much. final dude is Tyrantus, the Primal Ruler. This card is Insanity. Yep. It's 10 mana for 5,000 dude with the Overrun and Quickness. And Overrun is uh, if it deals damage to a creature, it deals that much to it. And then whatever's left, it hits towers. Yeah, just like that. This card costs X less to play, where X equals the total combined cost of dinosaur units you control. So if you have a 6 and a 4, this dude's free. Yeah. Kind of nuts. Uh, ignore the effects of your opponent's tower. This card damages. Neat. Units your opponents control with power less than this card lose their abilities. So everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah, if you play this dude, you should be winning the game because he is he's got overrun and quickness. Like he gets to kill two towers that turn, and they can't stop him unless they have a kill spell. Or at least he one he gets to kill a dude and a tower. <clears throat> no destroyer. But still like Oh yeah. But to, and then it have no you don't care because you destroy the tower that can't fight back and then it can come back later and then it's just ridiculous yeah he's just he's so gross because he turns off everything just your abilities are not there yeah yeah thanks so yeah with that, that that's the giant cornerstone of the deck that's going to make you win every single time now for the shards uh, for the spells we have a soul of ashes so it's a one drop insta cast choose one you control three or more fire units you may choose both Destroy or deal 500 damage to target unit and then destroy target damaged unit. So simple as that. Yeah, it's just to help with all the other dinosaurs that deal with, that destroy damage dude. So you're like, cool, pay one, kill that, or 500 that dude, play this dinosaur. Yeah, simple as that. Uh, next is Jurassic Strength. It is one for a spell. Neither player can add to the queue and in response to this card. Target unit gets plus 1000. Whenever a dinosaur unit control destroys an opponent's tower while you control three or more shards, you may add this card from your discard zone to your hand. So. It's literally a free pump spell to help you get out of the damage that they can't do anything against, and it comes back. Yep. So it's it's extra value every time. Solid. And if they pumped up the guardians and you use this to pump up your dudes that say your abilities don't matter, and then you just swing in anyway. Yeah. Pretty good. Primeval Roar. It's a two drop insta cast. Deals fifteen hundred to tar to target unit. Sorry. If you control four or more shards, you exhaust target shard and opponent controls. So just on the, it's an instant cast. So immediately when they untap, you're like, well, kill that thing, tap that thing. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. But you don't get to have that stuff. Yeah. There's no shard floating or anything. No mana yeah. floating. So pretty good. 
And the final card of the deck is Jurassic Swipe. It is two for an instant cast spell. It has additional cost to play this card. Exhaust target fire unit you control. It deals damage equal to its power to another target unit. If the exhausted was a dinosaur unit and control four more shards, return this card to your hand. Yes. So you get to use dinosaurs and be like, hey, cool, kill that dude, bring this back. And it's just, it's a kill spell every time. Yeah. Because you, you're mostly only using dinosaurs. There's like one dude that's not a dinosaur man. So all the time you're like, cool, kill that dude, get this back. Thanks. And then also helps if they try to swing in your big four drop they have to swing into. And then the very last one you just sack it to kill something bigger mm -hmm. you know something like that and then you can get it back <clears> later <throat> it's pretty cute now of course for the shards we have the basic argent shards and then the spirit ruby because you just need it it's amazing exhaust flip your spirit face down destroy target unit yeah. simple as that with that that is the deck and we uh, usually we don't have sideboards but we do have honorable mentions and the one we have is prime primeval shockwave it's a five drop insta cast Deal 2,000 2, damage to all units, and if you control seven or more shards, exhaust any number of target shards your opponent controls up to the number of units dealt damage this way. So if they have a lot of board, then you just, on their untap, do it, lose four or five dudes. Thank you. Yeah. Or even all your dudes, too. So if they survive or don't die, it doesn't matter. It's just whatever it hits, you can be like, you don't have a turn. Yeah, and if you play this and kill your own dudes with the herd mother in play, then they just take a lot of damage. Yeah. Cool. Dot. Just or die. whatever. Yeah. Things that Enjoy. Yeah. But with that, that's the deck, and the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geetopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.